God can fill. We all are needy. We are a needy people. We are a needy church. We are a needy community. Our state is a needy state. Our nation is a needy nation. And our world certainly is needy. The things that are transpiring in our community, in our state, in our nation, in our world today just make you want to step back and draw a breath because it is so devastating, the things that are taking place right now. But see, God's help is there for us. We don't have to face the difficulties of life alone. We don't have to face the problems of our nation as a nation by ourselves if we would just call upon God and look upon the help that he makes available to us. As a state, we don't need to struggle over the things that confront us and confuse us if we would look to God as our helper and realize that God has made available himself for the problems that we have, no matter how large or how small they may be. Folks, we are a very needy people, and we have the perfect helper, but only when we yield to the help. You know, even God can't help you if you won't let him. You know that? That's true. One scripture that always gets me is Ephesians 4.30. We got that back? Ephesians 4.30. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Do you know we can grieve God by rejecting the help of the Holy Spirit in us? Is that not sad that we, as insignificant as we are in in relation to God, we have the power to grieve God? And you know why that is? Because he loves you so much. We couldn't grieve him if he didn't love us. But he loves you so, so much. Like the choir was singing a few minutes ago. But we can make God happy when we accept who he is in our life and yield ourselves to this beautiful help that he has offered us through his own person, his spirit, which abides within us. So I just want to say to you today, folks, we are a blessed people. And on this Mother's Day, as we celebrate our mothers and think about the years of learning about life that we have gotten from them. There is a helper so much greater than anyone we have in our life or have had. And it's the Holy Spirit. It's God himself caring for the people that he loves if we would just yield ourselves to him, we could experience the blessing of help untold. What a beautiful God we serve. Amen? Heavenly Father, I thank you and praise you today for this time you've given us. What a blessing it's been. And God, I pray today that we would call upon you in our time of need and in our time of living successfully. Because to live successfully, we need as much help, maybe even more, than the times we find ourselves living below. Lord, we need you at every point in our life. And you have provided the help that we need through your Holy Spirit. Bless us, God, that we may be a blessing to someone else. Help us, God, that we may show others how they may be helped. We thank you for this great gift, and we thank our Lord that he knew that we could not do this or live life without this helper. So God, let us live in the joy and success and in the happiness and in the blessing of your Holy Spirit. And we ask for this now in the name, the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're going to sing our closing hymn, number 528, Nearer My God to Thee. I want to invite.